What is going on everyone? Welcome back for another exciting travel vlog. Today we're in Gippsland, Louisiana. It's talking about these fine folks right there. Not really, but if you don't know who they are, get a better look. Famous outlaws from the 1930s, Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow. And here we are in Gippsland, Louisiana, touring today. This is gonna be another couple parts video, but we're touring in part number one, the Bonnie and Clyde Ambush Museum. So we're gonna do this tour. I've seen YouTube videos on it. I'm very excited. Um, this video is gonna be mostly the tour and then you're gonna have to turn it, tune into part two, which will be the video after this. We're gonna go to the death spot and that whole thing. So without further ado, let's uh, talk about the building because it is very significant. This used to be a cafe. They made it into the Bonnie and Clyde Ambush Museum. It's also a historic landmark. So let's go take a look and then go take a tour. Let's go. That's exactly why. This is the location of Ma Canfield's Cafe where Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow stopped at 9 a.m. on May 23rd, 1934. Picked up sandwiches. Clyde had a fried bologna sandwich and Bonnie had the BLT. And then they drove, drove off to their deaths seven miles up that way we'll be going to next but like it's like it's an original cafe right here where bonnie and clyde had their final meal so one more thing before we go in down this road to the left there is going to be the gas station that frank hammer is one of the uh, texas officers who killed bonnie and clyde that's where he made the final call from here back to texas saying we got him so that will also be in part two, but without further ado, let's go inside already. All right, so it's $8 a person, which we already knew. This is the uh, first looks as we come in. So like I said before, I wanna stress again, this, is, this was the actual cafe that they sat down and had their last meals and obviously it's now a museum but it's just really cool to be in this building so as we walk in this is ted hinton who was about around the same age as bonnie and clyde he was you know in his early 20s went to school and personally knew bonnie and this is not his exact suit but this is a replica of what he would have wore that day however this is Ted Hinton's real hat. Wow. And there's just so much stuff here to see. So like I said, we walked, walked in through there. And uh, just last night we watched, as of the making of this video, it's still on Netflix. If you have Netflix and look, type up The Highwaymen, it's Woody Harrelson and Kevin Costner. It's about um, these guys right here. Actually, that's Frank Hamer. I think I said earlier Frank Hamer. I apologize, it's Frank Hamer. So Frank Hamer plays Kevin Costner. Woody Harrelson right, plays this guy right there. Remember what his name was? Oh, I forgot his name, but something like that. But the whole movie's about them hunting down Body and Clyde. We were here at this spot. This is in South Lake, Texas. If you go back and watch, I'll make sure to put a link in the video below of my Bonnie and Clyde Dallas tours video, but we were there. This is right by the spot where they killed two police officers. So. A picture of Bonnie and Clyde. That Ted carried with him all during the time that he was after Bonnie and Clyde. Uh, this, from what I understand, this is the actual phone that uh, Frank Hamer, who, like I said in the movie, Highwaymen, played by Kevin Costner. This is the actual phone that was down the street at the gas station that Frank Hamer called once they killed him. Called on this phone saying, back to Texas saying, we got him. So there's the actual phone. 
Phone, there we go. Phone used by Frank Hamer and Ted Hinton. It's Paul Sheriff Smoot Schmidt. At least Simmons to tell them the job was done. Barney and Clyde were dead. A little replica car. The bullet holes. He said after four corners, forget it. He said you ain't gonna find it. He's gone. Outside. Famous photos that you always see. His purpose was. There's a bunch of photos in here though I've never seen. I've never seen this. And how did they know that it was Clyde? East Ham Prison. No one but Clyde Barry drove a dead gun. Clyde stayed in there. So did his brother Buck. That's from the movie, the first movie that came out in 1967, I believe, Bonnie and Clyde. Besides that, Ted and Bob Alcorn both knew them by sight. Some paper clippings. Probably original. Yeah, it's behind glass. Oh, this is a cool little model of where we're going after this. This is Clyde's mugshot. He was arrested at 17, so that's Clyde Barrow at 17. A photo of Bonnie, his younger girl, too. Wow, this is something else. I believe these are from the original cafe when they were here. You don't think that too smart or desperate. They know wow. the law always wins. Alright. Now we're gonna go in and see the actual full blown museum. Wow. And this is a ton of stuff. Where to start? Looks like some cars straight ahead. Hmm. Huh. Well, let's go to the right to start. Uh, costume jewelry covered in joplin. Do you think this is actual? Mm -hmm. Costume jewelry. Huh. Bonnie's ring on sister's hand. Hmm. Oh, that's Bonnie's husband before Clyde. Bonnie Parker Thornton and her husband, Roy Thornton. They were separated by the time Clyde Barrow came along. Oh my gosh, we were here, Nicole. Eagle Ford School. This is we uh, my Bonnie and Clyde video too. We drove past here. This is where Bonnie went to high school. It still says on one side, it says boys entrance. The other side, it says girls entrance. Oh, look at Clyde was like a ladies man. With his sisters. his sisters. Still look at him. He's like he's like strutting there. This is pretty nuts to see. It's even more nuts for us because we were there. But this is the original window frame from the Barrel Star Station. Barrel family home in Dallas, Texas. Man. Like I said, if you guys are having fun with this, we were here. So that link will be down below for that video. But yep, this is the this is the station. We parked right over here, walked around, went around the back. But yeah, the filling station was in the front. The family all stayed. Family nine stayed in the back. Check it out. Okay, so what you may not know about our crew right here, Bonnie and Clyde is there's so many photos like you see the classic photos of bonnie and clyde online like this one of bonnie is very famous right there but there's so many photos in here that i've never seen before and the only reason they have all of these is because after they were killed in their car they had a camera and then the film was recovered and then the fbi 
police found all of these photos in their in their cameras. So let's take a look at some more. You guys see, so they, they just took so many photos. I've never seen this one of Clyde. Bonnie, this one's very popular. I've seen that. That's kind of all over Google too. Oh wow, look at all the drawings up top. Wow. I've never seen uh, these photos. That's not the death car. That's one of <laughs> how many cars, but I've never seen this one before. I've seen him in photos with Bonnie, but William Deacon Jones, crime accomplice of Clyde Barrow. That's who it is. Raymond Hamilton. Oh, wow, look at that. You don't see too many videos of Buck or photos of Buck, but that there's Clyde on the left uh, with his brother, Elsie Barrow. There. Blanche, she was caught. That's Blanche and Buck Barrow, 1933. But they, uh, they got caught and then Bonnie and Clyde got away. Another picture I've never seen before. Clyde cleaning and oiling his guns with Bonnie. That's something. Huh. Learning from a vest that Bonnie Parker owned. That's pretty cool. This is really cool down here. Bonnie Parker's tan found in death car after the ambush. You say that little thing was pinned? Yeah, it's a pin. Oh, that little thing right there is pinned to her dress. listed on the coroner's report. Bonnie's dress was listed on the coroner's report. Hmm. This is very interesting. It's kind of hard to read. Nicole's trying to read it, but Clyde's already in the mom. The burden is heavy. I wish they would let me go free. Mm-hmm. Bonnie's good to me. Something about see you on Thanksgiving. If you guys want to pause and try to read that, that's cool, but that's pretty, that's something. This is really cool. This is a door, door from Wellington House. I think there's photos of the real house. This is where they were. Oh, there's, there's a photo of the real house. Bonnie was injured. Car hurtled over the embankment. She burned her leg. And uh, long story short, this was a tour from one of the houses that they would hide out at. Actual door. That is something else. So this side looks like it has a lot of the movie stuff. This was filmed not too far from us in Texas. About 40 minutes uh, northeast of where we live, but... Well, hello there. That's uh, that's kind of creepy. You know what though? They were short, shorter. So, actual size? No. I mean, this Bonnie's kind of tall here. Probably not actual size, but so many classic photos of Bonnie and Clyde here, all in color too. That's what's pretty cool and interesting. Wouldn't the pictures have been in black and white? They were in black and white. So they That's... just colorized? Yeah. Them and, yeah. So this is really cool. Clyde Barrow and his guitar shortly after the Joplin incident. I do want to go there, Joplin, Missouri. Both Clyde and Buck asked their mother to try and get their property back that was left. And this is one of Clyde's guitars that was left at the Joplin house. That's pretty cool. Right over here. These are replicas of their graves, which we have been to both. So, yeah, that's pretty spot on. What their actual headstones look like. And uh, for the couple times, I've been to Bonnie's twice. I've only ever been to Clyde's once, but both times there was like shotgun shells or little bullets 
a toy gun, alcohol, <laughs> there's always something left. So this is something I've been dying to see. There's one gun here that was an actual gun pulled from their car. Remington shotgun taken from the Bonnie and Clyde death car. It gives them by law enforcement. It's this one right here. That is something else, huh? No, I'll tell you what's something else. Well, before we get there, I'll show you that. Clyde Barrow sunglasses. Another replica car with fake bullet holes, but there's actually a really cool one that's over on that side. We'll go check. Actually, they have three cars here. There's one, right there's two, and then there's another one that I really want to see around that wall. They have some pretty cool stuff in here. From seat of the death car. Broken glass from death car. Bullets. Wow. And there's the one and only Frank Hamer again with the crew. Death car. Oh, here's a good photo of it. This is right after. So they pulled out all the guns and stuff. So here's another, like I said, replica of the death car. However, I do want to go see this one. Nicole, do you know, fun fact, this car was supposedly the, this was like a copycat of the actual death car. And this one toured all throughout the country. I do like this case because they have like actual bricks from different gas stations or buildings they stopped at. This looks like an actual piece of uh, Clyde's dad's gas station. That's still there. So many bricks that the owner of, uh, of the museum here went out and got himself. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is what I was looking for. This is a lock of, this is Bonnie's hair. Lock of Bonnie's hair that, uh, you know what, guarantees somebody pulled out when uh, they were taking their bodies down the road. Bonnie's dress. Man. Clyde's socks. Well, that's pretty darn cool. I hate that there's a glare, but Clyde's socks. There's a piece of Clyde's shirt, Clyde's pants. And I was right. So items folks would have taken from the Bonnie and Clyde death car when they were taking their car through uh, Arcadia, Louisiana. So much stuff. I do not know if these are her actual shoes or not. So the car that we were just looking at right behind us, this is this was called the Bonnie and Clyde car. See, and these guys would take it on the road saying, oh, this was the actual Bonnie and Clyde car and people would believe it to be true but as we all know now it is not the actual car and photos of their real tombstones next video we're going here to see the actual death spot mm -hmm. ambush site top of the hill like I said if you're watching this video when it first comes out stay tuned but if you see it later, go on the next video. That's where we're going. Just saw this. This is the movie we were talking about. We just watched it last night again. It's like my fifth time watching it, but it's still on Netflix. The Highwaymen starring Kevin Costner, Woody Harrelson, but they play uh, the two Texas, uh, retired Texas Rangers that come back to find Bonnie and Clyde. And this is cool. The end scene where they kill Bonnie and Clyde, they actually filmed it in the exact same death spot. So here's Woody Harrelson there. We're gonna go there right after this. Like I said, that once again, that'll be in the next video, but there he is with their marker on the side. Oh my gosh, Kevin Costner was in here. 
I'm calling the Kevin. So this is the owner who uh, owns this place we just talked to. Kevin Costner was in here. That's cool. And that movie just came out, I think like 2019. That's something. And that is pretty much where we're going next, my friends. Stay tuned. Can't believe I almost passed this up. This was one of Bonnie's actual fur coats. There she is wearing it right there. And there it is. Oh, and this is from the Highwaymen too. Actual cast, there's Kevin Costner. There's Frank Hammer, Ted Hinton. We were just talking about, there's Woody Harrelson. And uh, that's pretty close, huh? Ted Hinton, and then his, uh, that's what he was actually wearing right there. everyone that's going to do it for this video but like i said this is only part one right now if you want to watch part two that's where things get really interesting so part one it ended here or started here then we're going to drive down to the death location in the next spot so thank you very much if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and we'll see you in the next video part two signing off here from the ambush museum where bonnie and clyde had their last meal Take care.